Greetings everyone, Kafee here. And like most people, the release of Crisis Core Reunion has me extremely pumped for the future of the FF7 Remake series. Particularly, the next entry, Rebirth. While the game may not release for another year, that does nothing to stop the hype and speculation, which is now at an all-time high. Because not only do we have the OG Final Fantasy VII fans, but we have an entire new generation of fans who've been introduced to the series with Remake as their first title. And with games like Ever Crisis on the way, the franchise shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon. Nor should it. I always felt like the original compilation had a larger story to tell, some more hidden aspects to delve into, and now that the series has been revitalized, some of these older ideas are finally coming to fruition. As long as Square Enix continues to release titles with captivating story and gameplay, people will buy the games and play them, and this awesome world will continue to expand. Speaking of the world and story expanding, we received some news on Vincent Valentine's status in Rebirth. Well, kinda, sorta. The original voice actor confirmed he won't be reprising his role in Rebirth. He has been recast. While, naturally, this prompted a huge uproar amongst the fan base, I am kind of starting to wonder if all of these recasts are specifically done in order to reinforce the notion that everyone isn't quite the same person this time around now that the timeline has been changed. Regardless, the fact that we received indirect confirmation of Vincent appearing in Rebirth is pretty awesome. Now we can speculate on his role and status as a playable character in the sequel. Will he be a required character for the story, or an optional character like Yuffie, similar to the original? While I'm sure the obvious answer is that he will be mandatory, one has to think about how many playable characters we already have. And it's a lot. In Remake, we have Cloud, Aerith, Tifa, and Barret, all as playable characters, not to mention the addition of Red 13 near the end of the game. Even though he served as more of a helper party member, he should be a fully-fledged member by the time Rebirth rolls around. Just place some materia around his collar, and bam, he's playable, just like the original. So that brings the party total up to five, and that's not including the Yuffie edition. In the Integrate DLC, they fleshed out her character quite nicely, while delving deep into the history of Wutai. So that's six. Right there, we already have the option for two separate parties of three members. Now, Remake did a great job of separating the party when we had more than three party members. Like the time Aerith and Tifa got separated and they had to communicate via the intercoms and we kind of went back and forth. So with six party members, I have little doubt in the development team's ability to have two separate parties most of the time and to make it feel natural, not forced. After all, we don't want to have three characters just kind of standing around doing nothing while the rest are in combat fighting. So two distinct parties kind of seems like the way to go. But what happens if we have more than six party members? How will they divide the parties then? Especially when characters like the previously mentioned Vincent Valentine join the party. With confirmation now of his appearance in Rebirth, that brings the total up to seven. And that's still not including characters like Cat Sith, Sid, or the previously thought dead Zack Fair, who appears to be alive at the end of Remake and going into Rebirth. That is 10 characters in total. And that's assuming people like Biggs or Roche won't also join the party later on. Essentially, now I'm wondering if Rebirth, the much anticipated sequel to Final Fantasy VII, may run into a bit of a problem of too many playable characters. While I do trust the development team to separate the parties, when we have too many at one time, the thought of dealing with three parties, nine playable characters, and possibly Zack, is pretty daunting. I really, really wonder how they'll be able to pull this off. Overall though, what are your thoughts on the possibility of too many playable characters in the sequel, as well as the confirmation of Vincent Valentine? How would you choose to divide the party members? if you had the choice. Just leave a comment down below, and if you feel up to it today, maybe even hit like or subscribe. More importantly though, have yourself a great day. May your heart be your guiding key, my friends. And happy gaming.